Your aware nose breathing is the way to go for your health, general well-being, and facial appearance. You don't want to be a slack-jawed beta mouth breather. Perhaps you've also tried mewing but can't get the habit to stick. You also know sleep is incredibly important for health, well-being, productivity, and much, much more. What if there was one thing you're probably not doing that could improve all those things at once? The answer is mouth taping. As a competitive young guy, I've always been relentlessly looking for ways to get better. A few years ago, I came across mewing. If you haven't heard of it, it's simply keeping your tongue on the roof of your mouth, your lips closed, and breathing through your nose as much as possible. The promised benefits can be slightly outrageous and sometimes completely ridiculous, but what is certainly true is that you will breathe better and you will feel better after doing it for a while and ingraining the habit. I had it wrong. It's not an exercise. It's a habit you implement throughout your life. It's also very hard to implement a habit like this when you're actually unconscious for a third of the day. I snored a little bit and I certainly wasn't mewing while I was sleeping at night. This is where mouth taping changed the trajectory of my mewing and health journey. Taping your mouth at night solves two things. One, you're encouraged to breathe through your nose. This potentially improves sleep quality, reduces snoring and reduces susceptibility to sickness. Number two, you're helping your body mew subconsciously, helping form the habit. It's like passive income. You're making progress literally while you are asleep. And a bonus, you feel like an absolute G. Who else is doing this? Hardly anyone. If you're an ambitious young man like my viewers, you like the idea of doing things that others don't or won't. So how do you do it? It's simple. Step one, get a basic band-aid from your local pharmacy or supermarket. I'm in Asia at the moment, so I get mine from Watson's. Back in Australia, I use the Woolies home brand. It doesn't really matter. They're super cheap, so try which ones work for you. Step two, tape sidewards, not up. It should cover your lips completely. It shouldn't be super tight. You can open your lips and breathe if you absolutely have to or need to. It's a reminder cue. It's not a restrictor. It's not supposed to suffocate you in your sleep. That is not good. If you can't simply take it off and breathe by opening your mouth, it's too tight or it's the wrong band-aid for you. So try another one. Step three, when you've done all your other nightly routines and it comes time for bed, do your best mewing posture and have your tongue up on the roof of your mouth. A good cue is to say the word king and hold that last part. That's your mewing posture. Purse your lips a bit and then apply the tape. Take a deep breath through your nose and you're off like a baby. Step four, I'd also recommend filming yourself or recording yourself with a snore app at least just for the first night. Try to stick with this routine for at least a few nights until you form the habit and you can review your data and see if it's working or not if you're sleeping well, if you feel uncomfortable, if it's improving your sleep, you wanna be able to see the data. So try and do this. I'll put the link to the app I used. It's free, I'm not sponsored in the description. So what are some problems you might face? Number one, plastic. We should know by now that plastics are not good for us, particularly men and our testosterone. It's possible that putting tape on our mouths for eight hours, you know, the sticky plastic shit in the band-aids is not good for us. If it's a concern for you, which maybe it is, maybe that is reasonable, keep in mind that this is to help form the habit. Mouth taping is not forever. It's something you do to kickstart your mewing while you're sleeping. It's just a tool to get you into the correct mewing posture throughout the night. Though, if you have an alternative solution, put it in the comments below and I'll test it out. I've tried a few different options, but this works the best for me and others I've helped already. The second problem or fear you might have is a fear of claustrophobia or suffocation. This is probably all in your head. It's potentially a shock to your system and your brain is not used to not being able to breathe through its mouth if that's what you're used to doing. If this is a problem for you, apply the tape loosely at, very loosely at first. So you can get a feel for it. You can breathe through your mouth if you have to. And then over time, you can tighten it as you feel a bit more comfortable and close up your lips completely overnight. Problem number three, difficulty removing the tape. I did encounter this when I had more facial hair. Moustache hairs can get stuck and it does hurt a little bit when you go to take it off in the morning. Firstly, don't be a bitch. <laughs> Secondly, and more practically, try wetting the tape or licking your lips or moustache before you apply. This helps keep it a little bit not so sticky on this area and it helps you when you're removing it in the morning. Problem number four, your partner or family or anyone you sleep with 
thinks it's silly. If you sleep with someone, hopefully your partner, they might judge you for doing this. If someone close to you is judging you for trying to optimize your life, I would question if this person is optimizing your life. So make of that at what you will. Otherwise, show them this video and they'll surely change their mind and support you. Problem number five, the need to mouth breathe. This is very important. If mouth taping is not for you, it's not for you. There are other ways and techniques that you can try to improve your mewing over time. Keep mewing and keep progressing your breathing and sleeping posture. Save this to a playlist and come back in six months time and try it again. So after all this, what are the tangible benefits? Implementing mouth taping should help you sleep better, longer and deeper. You may feel more refreshed the next morning and be more productive in the next day, which is exactly what we all want, right? You should notice improvements in your ability to mew throughout the day subconsciously. And you might also notice that your nose is clearer because you're forcing yourself to breathe through your nose, which makes it easier for you to clear your nose and breathe in that pattern. It's another small step on our path to life optimization. Let's take it one step at a time. And this is something tangible that you can do to improve your life potentially forever. But on that note, remember that mouth taping is not something that you need to do forever. It's something you can invest in now that will pay off in the future. When you form the mewing habit while you're sleeping, you should be able to keep your mouth closed, keep your tongue up, breathe through your nose automatically without having to tape your mouth in the future. If it improved your sleep by even 1% every night for the rest of your life, it would be worth it, right? So I'm all about taking action. So what can you do right now to implement this? Step one, put mouth taping in your calendar. Or if you haven't set your calendar up yet, write a note and put it next to your bed. Go do it now, pause the video, do it now. Step two, get the Band-Aid or alternative that you wanna try. You probably already have one in your house right now. Go ask your mum, ask your mum, where's the band-aids? Get, get one right now. If you don't have one or you think it's not the right one for you, go get one tomorrow from the shops. No excuses, write a note. Step three, once you've got that sorted, do mouth taping tonight. Get your sleep snoring app set up and just do it, just try it. The free one I used is again is in the description. It's, it's, it's completely free, it's not sponsored. It's just the one I used and I found it helpful. Again, use whatever you like or use none at all. Try filming yourself. Do you actually sleep better? Can you visually see the difference? Step four, see how you feel after mouth taping. Take a note of anything you can improve or address the next night and try to implement it. If you have any questions or you have any feedback, comment below or message me through any of my socials and I will respond to you and you know, let's get you doing this. So that's it guys. I genuinely hope this guide helps improve your mouth breathing, get better sleep and speed up your mewing progress. Shoot us a like if you got something from this and share it with someone if you think this can help them too or you want someone, a buddy to try it with you. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos just like this. I'm Jack Alderton and I'm helping ambitious young men optimize their lives one step at a time. Stay focused, be authentic, and keep going.